Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Corbin Russwin number 701F22-8. This is what's called a deadbolt spring. And this video is just to serve as visual and dimensional evidence of the item, also to show you where the uh, unit comes out of the parts manual. A couple of basic dimensional properties. Overall length. 1.761, 1.761. The overall width of the spring, 0 0.107, 0 0.107 width. Thickness of the steel, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, okay? Now, there is some supporting documentation down below. It's a parts drawing, so let's switch to that view now and take a look. Okay, so this is the item that we're looking at, and just basic, to, you know, basic description here. By the time you're seeing this video, there will be a link to the parts drawing, which is here, and it will allow us to cycle through all of the instances of where this comes up uh, in the ML2000 series parts manual. So it shows up a number of times in different lock cases. This is part number 12, the spring deadbolt, which is going to be right here. And this is for the 11 and 12 functions of that body. I don't know what those functions are without referring to the chart. Um, I just don't simply remember. But looking at it uh, tells me it's a deadbolt only. Um, not, not much else happening here. Uh, you're going to have your uh, part number 9, your uh, hub turn piece. Uh, so in a, in a way to hold in a cylinder here. So this is going to be obviously a single or a double cylinder deadbolt only. And as we cycle, as you scroll through, you'll find the other instances of the other functions that this um, occurs in. How a 17 is different, um, I am not sure. I'd have to, again, look. I don't have... I stopped trying to memorize part numbers. As long as I know where to find it, that's the important part. And as you continue to scroll through, you'll find all of the instances of where that part 12 or the deadbolt spring, the 701 F22 shows up shows up a number of different times there's a better description of it right there i suppose okay now the that ml 2000 series parts manual that we have linked here is only as it relates to the 701 f22-8 but the link to the manufacturer's page here will allow you to get to the entire document corbin russman parts and service manual and that's a pretty epic document in the sense that it's um, 546 pages long so a really great resource that's on that manufacturers page which again is linked to here that'll get you to here where you can uh, review not only on that page that link to the parts manual but all of the Corbin Russwood items that we sell along with a link to the manufacturers website as well as a link to the full product catalog. And several other encyclopedic documents are here. Um, you know, just a key systems manual. The mathematics of master keying is here. Prior catalogs, templates. Um, in terms of catalogs, we have some really old archival catalogs. If you want to see what Corbin was doing in 1895, well, there's your, there's your catalog right there. And that'll, that'll take some time for that to load. See if that catalog is loaded, and there it is. 1895, that's a 740-page catalog of all things P.F. Corbin. And I don't recall the year that they got started, but, you know, right around the time of the Civil War, and actually, do we just see in 1852? Yeah, so, you know, very much mid-19th century. And, yeah, it's the same, you know, it's, um, it's Corbin, and then Russwin was a separate company, and they merged at some time, I think, in the 90s um, to make one company. And there's just an epic amount of fun hardware to look at that's, you know, super interesting, especially if you are, for some reason, needing to do some research to find out what was happening, you know, at the turn of the, you know, 20th century. Really great research there. Um, and I've used it to great, I've used that, uh, those documents to great effect when preparing my um, article on Master Ring 
I have my Master Ring article here somewhere. Actually, it's linked right here, which is a document that talks about, you know, the Master Ring as a technology, as a platform, um, and a platitude of information here. If you're interested, that's where it is in a, in a uh, video to accompany that article. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Now, this video, again, just to show you what that spring looks like, you know, springs are going to fatigue and fail. Um, you know, a lot of things can happen with enough use, enough uh, usage on a, uh, on a lock. It's just a piece of tempered steel, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's going to fatigue and fail like all other things eventually. Um, the good thing about the fact uh, that you are looking for this is the fact that you can actually purchase it. Uh, the fact that the manufacturer makes the information available, they provide you a schematic, they provide you a part number. Ultimately, you can purchase the item from us to keep that significant investment in lock hardware uh, working, you know, splendidly for a very, very small little inconsequential part. Without that part, the lock's not going to work as well as it ought to. Any questions on the Corbin Russwin 701 F22-8 deadbolt spring or any other Corbin Russwin product, please... Feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.